Oh, I did hit the button. <laughs> Alrighty, hey everyone. How is it going? Happy Easter indeed. There we go. Just raise the seat. There we go. Oh man, it's been forever. I don't know about y'all, but it's good to be streaming. When was the last time we streamed? That is the question. Oh, wow, beginning of the month, and then we just uh, kind of disappeared for a bit, didn't we? <laughs> well then, well, the point is we're back now. Man, I miss this. I think I got everything set up the way I normally did, for the most part. I think this thing is... Okay, I think that's better now. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Non-stop Brooklyn quarters. Speaking of Brooklyn, I feel like I, sh I should, like, explain myself. Where the hell I've been? As, uh, I've been gone almost all month. This is how it feels like, because this month is gone by in an instant. Oh, we got... Okay, promos. So, for anyone wondering, here's the promo leaks uh, for tonight. Uh, Flower Trellis promo from April 1st to the 14th with 150 USD on anything. I think that equates to almost 200 Canadian for a flower promo. I will probably pass on that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I had my Easter brunch like an hour ago, so I get it, Eileen. Yeah, hopefully I'm not taking you two much away from it. I don't know. Words. <laughs> Um, another promo is the Retro Fruit Truck is back, but it's only going to be for purchase with the latest modular buildings. So what is the latest modular? It says the latest three. I'm out of the loop. I'm just uh, having a dummy moment. What exactly are they referring to in terms of modulars? Because I know the Jazz Club is one of them, right? Here, let's do module collection. Natural History, Jazz Club, and the Boutique Hotel are the three most recent icons modulars. So those would count towards the Retro Fruit Truck. I don't plan on spending a lot, so it's not worried. D&D &D Mimic Chest from the Red Dragon's Tale that is a new set. I don't know what that is. Not been keeping updates, so let's see. Let's look under Coming Soon. Um, oh, that's a big set. Let's actually have a look at this. I, I know we're supposed to be building, but just... Hold on, I'm kind of... We're just kind of chilling for a minute here. So this is the set you get the D&D &D Mimic Chest promo. And yeah, this, this set looks huge. What is the piece count? 3,000, almost 4,000 pieces for 400. That's okay. This looks beautiful. I'd like to see it without the dragon, though. I do feel like the dragon takes up a big chunk. Oh, there we go. Now, I've never played Dungeons & Dragons, so I have no idea how accurate any of this is. But this does look pretty cool. Wow. Oh, wait, what? That's the video head. Wow, there's a lot of cool figures here. $500 is what that'll come to, Canadian. That is that is a hefty price, Eileen, I agree. 
Yeah, I won't be personally picking it up. I do appreciate that it looks nice. Oh, it's ideas. Cool. But then again, it checks off the box that every ideas has to be over $100. Ugh. Oh, well. Anywho. Where have I been? Here, I should put myself in the big screen. Where the heck have I been? I know that's all what you are probably wondering. Well, in short, I've been working a lot. A lot this month. And, uh, huh. That's kind of been, everything's been kind of put on the back burner because I've been working at my job so much. I apologize for that. I know that there's been some days where I've just completely forgotten to upload and I've just slipped up, whatever. I've tried my best to put out some content. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm hoping next month, or, uh, we'll be a little different and get back to a norm, hopefully. I know I've definitely put the back burner on important projects, like the snap conclusion. That hasn't even begun to be even started unfortunately but everything's put in the back burner and then on top of that i made a huge purchase at costco uh if you don't follow my instagram i picked up uh i think it was 32 lego sets from costco for 40 bucks a piece i think i talked about it last stream um so yeah i've been busy at bricklink has been popping off if any of you purchased from my bricklink store thank you very much for your support but yeah, I've also been busy with work and then coming home and packing orders. Like, just as we started the stream, I got a notification that I got paid for another order. It has been nuts. Not that I hate it, it, it it's been a good kind of nuts. You know what I mean? It's it's really been an interesting experience and just very busy. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, today's Easter and I'm like, okay, I'm going to throw everything that's kind of prioritized on the back burner. I, I just, I need to build Lego. I haven't necessarily, okay, with the exception of the Django Fett buildable figure, I haven't built anything this whole month, and it's getting at me. It really is. So I thought, okay, what's a old, big old set that's in my backlog? And so I thought, okay, naturally, we got the Dream Space Bus. That's going to be on the retirement cho chopping block here soon, and I want to at least have it built. to know if I wasted my money or not, which, to be fair, I did get it on triple VIP, so how am I losing? <laughs> so anywho, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Easter. Let's jump right into this. And start building. Oh, so we got our fancy smancy build can. Don't worry, Eileen. I have been saving for Chicago. It's all good. And, but, you know, PayPal Balance has also been helping with uh, other Lego purchases. Speaking of, uh, I did pick up this little guy recently. Because I found out he was available in shop at home. And uh, he's pretty cool. Yeah, he's our little mascot for today's stream. Little Spaceman plush. Anywho, oh my goodness, I... Okay, I do have an exacto knife. Okay, good. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> uh. Hey, Squidman, how's it going? No, no, it's a Spaceman with a Space Bus, so... You'd be saying Space Bus, Space Bus, Space Bus. So it's an 800, almost 900 piece set, uh, released last year in August, I believe. It's my first ever dream set. Now I did want to build the other uh, dream set I have that's smaller, but I'm like, no, we got to go in order of release. That's how I want to do it at least. So that's what we're doing. I did watch the actual show and the show's not too bad. I'm not going to lie. I might actually give it a rewatch so that I have full context, but I'm pretty sure the space bus is just like their go-to vehicle to get around the dreamland. Oh, it was cool! It was like I like seeing that photo. It's wholesome. I liked it. It was good. Uh, there was one released with this most recent wave that was the space car. That one I did pick up. Okay, big. Okay, we're gonna have to set this up fancy. Holy moly, nine bags? We're gonna be here a while. Okay, bag one we need. Bag four. There is a loose cockpit piece that I guarantee you we're gonna have to sticker up. Bag five. Bag two we're gonna need. So 
So yeah, I've been just very having much having my hands full lately with time management. And it's like, okay, what do I prioritize? Well, obviously I have to prioritize Bricklink and my actual job, so YouTube kind of got the shorthand of the stick. But I am grateful for all of you who have stuck around throughout this whole month's hiatus of busyness. You guys are awesome. But we're pretty used to things being thrown on the back burner at this rate, aren't we? <laughs> uh, holy, what is this sticker sheet? Why are there... Why are there so many? Actually, oh, for a second I thought the sticker was missing. That is a that's a whole sticker sheet. That scares me. That QR code is kind. Of, good luck with this. Yeah, I'm gonna need it. Okay, I do like the artwork on the front there. That is, I don't mind this. I don't mind that. It's not the actual set image. It's like concept art, and I kind of like that. I don't mind that. Real quick, though, I want to get my VIP points. So bear with me. Wow. The printing was really faded, and I was kind of worried it wouldn't scan. What year was I born? 02. Accept cookies. Now give me... Oh, I gotta log in. Ugh. <sighs> There we go, log in. Verification! Oh my goodness, this has turned out to be much more of a hassle than I expected. Register set, come on! I don't- I don't want to fill out your survey. You, you can re go watch this live stream if you care so much, Lego. Why I bought it. I bought it during double- or no, triple VIP in November. There we go. Ugh, that was a hassle and a half. Alrighty. My first ever Lego Dream set. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, look at the artwork. Yeah, it is. But it all adds up, and for that reason, it's kind of worth it. In the grand scheme of things. Look at that artwork. That's cool. Okay, so it says we need the green string as well as bag one. Oh, bro, the art... This is the kind of quality I'm expecting out of LEGO Instructions. You guys know I've, I haven't enjoyed Instructions necessarily in a while. And this is... Wow. Instantly. All of them. I'm, like, as per usual, I'm going to track down a full case because I know Eileen and Dion and others want to get their hands on some and don't want to have to actually go through the hassle of it. So I'll continue doing that because, you know, why not? Because I'll, I'll buy a full case, open it for review purposes, and then keep the full set for myself and then sell the rest. It's just easier that way for me. Less hassle. But they do look so nice. I don't know if I have a favorite at the moment. Like, I know images got leaked of the full uh, characters. Like, a guy got his hands on a full box. But I I'm going to try and keep myself as spoiler-free as possible. For sure, Eileen. If there's any you're looking for, let me know. Nice spongy fabric cape. That's a different cut for cape. That's cool. Hey, Dion, long time no see on camera. How's it going? Uh, these legs, dual molded print. How much was this set? I'm already like blown away. Uh, seven one four six zero. I hope it's not retired already. I can totally see it being, though. 
It's $120, and I'm already blown away. We're off to a brilliant start today, guys. Should get his head ready. There we go. I knew my friends were telling me, get dreams, get dreams, the sets are good. And I'm like, eh, they look okay. I'm actually, like, we've only assembled one minifig. That's US pricing? No way. It's 120 Canadian. Oh, sorry. I read this first, and then I read that. <laughs> I've seen on clearance for 60. Oh, wow, dang. You've got your order in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get first dibs. As soon as I get them, I'm going to be like, hey, Dion, what do you want? <laughs> Here's what I got available. Yeah, these converted from the show really well. It's a shame that Dreams is going on sale, but to be fair, the show, I don't know. Like, the show's great, but it's, it does take a lot of, like, being able to latch onto it. All of them. <laughs> the, there's literally artwork every page. I love it. Alright, Z Blob, nice. If they ever contradict the fact that Z Blob can't necessarily talk, I will be very disappointed in the show. Okay, so for some reason, Z Blob has a string. I don't know if that's just him reaching out. This gooiness, but okay. Like literally every page, there there's artwork. Like now, I really hope there's not like a good chunk of pages that's nothing but artwork, because I, I want to actually build some stuff here, believe it or not. But credit where credits due. Oh, it feels so good to be building Lego. I, like, I haven't built it in so long. Of course, we're being slapped with the sticker. Why didn't they get us to build Mr. Oz, is my question. Oh, I'm so used to seeing so many Lego pieces, I've become numb to actually spot out specific ones. Yeah, 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 Mr. Oz's space car. I have that in my backlog. Sticker number eight. eight, 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 eight. Okay. I like how this is the classic space logo, but not at the same time. That is a different type of blue than the actual brick, but whatever. Stickers are what stickers are. Like, you can tell on camera that's a different shade of blue. Oh, the camera wants to focus. It just doesn't... Eh, whatever. Alright, cool, cool. Was I supposed to do this? Oh, I was supposed to put it underneath. Oh, this is like a little rover buggy? I don't remember seeing this on the box. Huh. I feel like I've forgotten how to build Lego. I literally am going to be struggling trying to find pieces.
Yeah, I don't know. I've been picky with dreams. Like, I'll, I'll pick up anything Mr. Oz related because his stuff's cool enough for me. But, again, it all boils down to, like, hey, I can't have every type of theme for every set. I have to be picky. Connection's a little loose there. Message received, Dion. We'll check in a sec. There's a cool little buggy. Huh. Yeah, this is literally artwork every other page. A lot of minifigures with medium nougat legs, do we? Mr. Oz is one of those few. Aww. I was hoping for a double sided facial print, but I guess not. Oh wow, that hairpiece is cool. Let's see what the heck you got, Dion. Oh, Z Blobs, uh, little hovercraft. That's a twenty dollars set, right? No, I think that's a fifteen dollar one. Oh, I think about it. Nice. Yeah, I like those figures. Those figures are really nice. Okay, we'll just set that aside. Oh, why is that here? There we go. My brain is telling me, drink a monster if you feel the slightest bit sleepy. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We're, we're trying to get off that stuff. It's coming clutch this month, though. I, I'm not going to lie. For example, I had a concert shift, and concert shifts go until around midnight, so a good eight-hour shift at least, and then I had to wake up and be at work for 11 the next day. So yeah, monsters have come in clutch this month, especially this last week. But I'm like, okay, hey, I've had a little too much monster, I, I need to calm the beast a little. I agree. It's a cool fig. I do see how there would be limitations for printing, though, because of just how the way they've made the body. Okay, can I have another cheese slope? Thank you. <laughs> I lean. <laughs> I mean, that way, I guess that's one way of them making sure you don't buy duplicates then, because, I don't know, that's how I look at it. Been dipping my toe back into Transformers, and, oh man, the Legacy line, it's like, it allows me to buy figures from my childhood that I wanted, but not at the same time, because of course older figures are worth more. And so it's like, hey, I can have it reimagined for like, and get it nowadays. And I, I haven't disliked it. Like, I've gotten Prowl and Optimus from the animated uh, uh, TV series from the Legacy line, and they have been both great. I've gone as far as to pre-order Bumblebee now. And now I'm like looking at other figures from the line and I'm just like, hmm, do I, do I need to get a few more Transformers? Like, is this another thing I'm going to dive down? Maybe, who knows. Get bundled in the set? Yeah, so far I'm impressed. 
I had, I didn't know, I didn't really have many expectations for this set, but I'm already blown out of the water. I, like, the fact that I paid 120 for this. We'll see once I'm done, though, if that opinion changes or not. Is that a lion? Yeah, that is a lion. One, two, place. That's new to me. Interesting new piece for me. I think after next week, I'll be more free to work on projects. So the plan is for next week for me to get really fully back on the horse for YouTube and just uh, play catch up. So hopefully more reviews, hopefully more vlogs. My goodness. Ugh. Ugh. This is, this is going to be interesting to tackle that. But we have three balls to juggle, and I've I dropped one, and I gotta pick it back up and start juggling all three again. This is the game of life, y'all understand. One, two, place. One, two, place. Okay, good. So it does look like the bus is actually having what I was expecting, which is room for more than just two mini pigs. Like, I'm seeing seats for five figures total, which I think is the whole team, if I'm not mistaken. Oh wait, there's a... I wonder... Hmm... There's a jumper randomly in the back. I really hope it's not just for some random crate. Hey, Krista! How's it going, man? It's been a while since I've been on camera. I hope I don't look too weird. <laughs> how's, your, how's your day going, man? With all the Lego moving and all that. I'm really hoping another Ninjago Modular drops tonight, Christo. I will be in your chat if I can help it with anticipation. Also, you've got me on a trend now. Every order on I make online, I have to find an excuse to get a plushie. <laughs> you, you've influenced me that much, my friend. But to be fair, the plushies are pretty cool. I, I'm going to end up having a whole shelf just full of these Lego plushies. One, two, three, place. Oh, that's not it. Actually, do I have the next weekend off? If I have next weekend off, that'd be great to do another live build. Let me get right back on to doing more live builds. They're fun. So, April 2nd, and then there's a bit of a gap. Next Sunday I'm free. We could be doing more live builds this month, guys. And trust me. I've built a backlog. <laughs> like, I've literally had to go from the one shelf I used to keep sets of, as a part of a backlog and, like, take over a portion of my shelf. Because that's how many sets I have in my backlog. <sighs> Which you may have seen in mail time and vlogs and all that if you put it together all in your head.
Yeah. Some retired ones, too. Retired ones we might save for special occasions. If I can help it. Please don't tell me that. No, we're, we're missing something here. Z Blob. I'm willing to bet Z Blob is what has that piece. Where is the Z? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be on the end of the stick here. The webbing. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna literally, after the stream, I'm gonna throw everything I have sealed on my desk and I'm gonna get that picture done. I, I, I'm a man of many promises and not exactly acting on it right away. Trust me, Don. <laughs> Life has been crazy this month. <laughs> Bag. Actually, I can put that in there as well. So I'm gonna need that right away. Okay, peg two. I love these little pictures. They're so cool. That's right. Hit the like button if you're enjoying, guys. Look at that. Look at that artwork. That's so cool. I swear, if the other, if any other dream sets does not have this standard, like this is my, this is my expectation now for dream sets. With the exception of poly bags, I better have artwork on every other page. That is purpose, you know, with the build. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Bring on the bugging, man. Not that I hate working so much, but it's like, if I had known I'd worked so much, I would have had everything planned out better in terms of YouTube. Believe that. <laughs> like, by now, we would have had my the, the snap conclusion and the vlog, and it's just, ugh. Oh. I don't know. And before anyone asks, nothing has been filmed. There have been concepts thrown about that have been having details added to said concept, but nothing has been set in stone yet, per se. But there will be a conclusion of sorts. I'm actually about ready to go as far as to write up the script for Jordan and I so that we can be more professional about it. A hundred sets? Is the Friends one I sent you one of those? <laughs> realize uh since it's the end of the month i'm gonna be getting another fortnite skin tonight because uh fortnite crew uh you know by now i would be over level 100 because you know new season and all that i'm only at like level 70 no i think level 80 so definitely everything's falling behind a little bit of everything Oof. well i'm glad to know i'm not the only one who's built a bit of a backlog this month I keep visiting the Lego store expecting them to get, because like they told me spring is when they refresh their minifigure wall, and I'm like waiting for that, what is it, dark magenta, whatever, uh, brick suit person, because I gotta collect every brick suit figure, I like the colors, so I've been waiting for that, and the Le there's one Lego store employee who's very chill with me who knows that, I wouldn't be surprised if they messaged me one day saying, hey, guess what, <laughs> that's my hopes and dreams at least, but. Yeah, every time I go in, they're like, what are you looking for? I'm like, well, I'm in the area. I'm on my way to work. I thought I'd drop in here real quick, see what you have for on sale. And also, do you have the figures yet? Shoot. Oh, that'll be fine, right? I think that'll be fine. Shoot. White sticker on black does not look as good as you would imagine. Oh, don't even mention that game mode. That is garbage. It was okay. 
The mode itself isn't garbage, it's just... Ugh. No thank you. I did it just for the freebies, and then I clocked out of that game mode so fast. Oh, Eileen, and in Fortnite there's a game mode called Floor is Lava, and uh, it's... Uh, it is what the title says, but oh. It's stressful. I thought it'd be a fun game mode until I realized it was builds, and me who only does zero builds, it was like a, a video game player's worst nightmare being thrown into a game mode that is the complete opposite of what they're used to doing. Oh yeah, me too. That's, that's all. As soon as I got all the freebies, I checked out of that game mode so fast. Like, I can, I'm, it, it could leave today and I would be fine with it. I, I wouldn't miss it. That's the only way you get me to play other game modes is if you throw in freebies. Like, I haven't touched LEGO Fortnite ever since uh, the free skin was claimed for me. Minecraft just ain't my thing, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if I can do this sticker better this time. Because is that other sticker I kind of messed up. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, the white sticker on black piece does not look good. Finally, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I grinded that out so fast. I'm surprised there isn't a logo on the bottom here. Like, there's a logo on... Like, that does not look good. I'm sorry, that does not look good. It may look good on camera, but believe me, that sticker looks atrocious on a black Lego piece. It just does not look good. I don't like it. Come on, Lego, do better. Uh, did you know there's another Lego Fortnite skin you can get by linking your VIP account? Just saying. Unless they stop that, I don't know. If you link your Epic account with uh, your Lego account, apparently you get a freebie. I don't know if they're doing that anymore or not, but... Let you know, any Fortnite players in chat? Actually, it's funny we're talking about Fortnite since this is a space bus and it's probably the closest thing we'll, cu we'll currently get to LEGO Fortnite sets at the moment. Nice. Oh, these are ladders! Huh. Okay. I feel like I should tilt this down. But oh, I can't. Oh, well. No. Yes, I need that. I have a feeling this might be true when I was assuming this would be one of my favorite dream sets. I think that might still hold up.
No, other one. Over top of everything? Okay, you're the boss. I don't know if you noticed, Squidman, but I accidentally joined your party uh, the other day. I joined for like all of like two seconds. I was trying to join my friend's party, <laughs> like to send him an invite or whatever, and I accidentally double clicked on yours, and I joined, and I was like, Ugh! and then I just dipped so fast, it was like I was never there. I did see who you were in a party with, though, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little oopsie moment. Uh, green stuff. Okay, so we flip this around like that. Maybe that. Where is it attaching? Oh, this isn't a blaster, it's a thruster. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd give you context as to what that was about. Okay, this is gonna be a much smaller build than I thought. So, now I'm getting skeptical. Because... Yeah, that's how long the bus is going to be. Now I'm getting skeptical about what I was saying about the set being awesome. Because this thing looks smaller than the box made me think. To be fair, I got it during triple VIP, so no matter what, I'm fine, but still, I have my concerns now. We are off to a brilliant start with the figs, let's not go downhill, Lego. Okay, we need a music change. I would have stayed, but I, I didn't know. I didn't know, I, I, like, what the vibe was. So I just was like, yeah, let, let's just not. I need to go nibble on something. I'm feeling weird. Then again, I didn't have a big breakfast either. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is uh, looking much smaller. <sighs> Let's hope it actually my opinion changes, because right now it's like 120. <sighs> It's not right.
There we go. Now that I do that. Hey David, how's it going? We are building our first Lego set in over a week. What is going on here? Something's not right. Why is that? What did I do wrong here? Oh, I didn't. Okay, I know what I did. Dion, get the tally. It started. <laughs> don't 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 say that. It, it's gonna stay like this forever, right? This springtime weather. It's never gonna get bad again. I hate it when it's winter. I hate it. Not a fan at all. Hold up, guys. Sorry about that, guys. First error. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the first. We aren't count Any other errors are, aren't counted. Okay, that's bag two. There's nine bags of this. Oh, nice! What's this guy's name? I completely forgot. I started one with an O, didn't it? This guy's the monkey's name? Oswald? I want to say his name's Oswald. It's not Oswald, it's Albert. His name is Albert. The wings were a fun build, but like, I don't know, man. I'm feeling iffy about this build now. The scaling of it. Yeah, no worries, David. It's no rush. I was just touching base. That's all. Yeah, I know the feeling. And I frequent it enough where the post office knows my usual stuff now. They don't bother asking me. They just wait for me to report what I want. Okay, Albert. Let's see. He has like a little wrench, you know, this monkey wrench. Yeah, we're in the same boat for that. Maybe we'll learn to drive, maybe we won't. Who knows? Oh, right. Me and. This thing.
It is. It is. Especially right now. Like, I'm literally getting at least an order a day. At least. And then at the beginning of the stream, I got paid for another order, and I'm like... <sighs> a lot of hassle. Like, there's this one guy who wants to order uh, 29 8x16 with gray plates. The issue is, uh, with Max... I'd like to give you guys some insight. Max weight for oversized letter mail is 500 grams. So, this guy's order... Like not, he's got like one other thing as well as like these plates. But the thing is, the order Bricklink's telling me the weight is 498.40 grams. So assuming you know, whatever, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Sorry. It would be close enough where like the uh, the post office people would be like, that's too overweight. We can't ship that. So. I messaged the guy saying, hey, buddy, listen, I, I could either ship it this way or that way. What do you want? And it's just a waiting game now. Yikes. One of these days when I go up to Edmonton again, I will take their transit system to get around just to see what it's how like a like, stupid thing, but like how much different it is compared to Calgary. So yeah, what I basically said, yeah, uh, I could ship your order either into envelopes separately, like I split the order in half for this price. Or I could ship it in a prepaid box because I can almost guarantee you the post office will tell me, hey, it's overweight, can't ship it oversized. And they'll want me to, if, no matter how flat I get it, it's the fact that it's overweight and they'll charge me like a gajillion dollars unless I buy the prepaid box. My thing is, I charge the cheapest shipping. Then there's your orders, Dion. Yeah, no. I, like, like I said before, I don't mind doing your stuff because it's a guaranteed sale. And if it's a guaranteed sale, sure, let's do whatever we need to, to get it sold. So anyhow. Yeah. Some communications with some orders. Some uh, It's just like, oh, okay. Pack it and ship it. And then there's local pickup orders. I, I was up till 5 after, because like I came home at noon last night. And I was packing orders till 5. Or not noon, midnight. What am I saying? I'm recounting my days so you guys can get an idea how busy I've been. So I came home around midnight last night. And I couldn't sleep because, you know, you just finished work and your mind is just so active. So I was like, hey, might as well pack up some orders. And I was up till 5 packing orders uh, that were local pickup. And then I started another one that I have to ship out. Now, I'm not prioritizing the shipping out ones because they're A, not that big, and B, post office is basically closed until the second. Basically closed. I know on the first it's open with uh, special hours, but if I can get orders shipped out all at once, I will. Yeah, well, I mean, I did part out a Chinese New Year set recently, David, so if you want, go have another look, you know, there might be some minifigure torsos and heads you might be looking for. I know the legs have probably already sold, I've had sold a bunch of minifig legs lately. <sighs> rickling has been popping off <laughs> ever since I bought those friends sets. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, you're one of the few people I'd be like, okay, shipping stuff before payment. If I have it ready, of course. <laughs> but I, I, I don't, because normally I'm prioritizing other orders and stuff at the moment, so I don't yet, but I could, and I would, you know? Oh yeah, Dion's in there like a dirty rag every time I order some new stuff. Or, or, uh, you guys get what I'm saying? 
Which, hey, first come, first serve. <laughs> I don't feel the need to advertise every time I part something out on my Instagram or whatever. If it's a huge part out, I will. Maybe on the certain sites I do. But it's like, no need. People will come. I haven't even bothered sorting out the pieces yet because I'm that confident that I won't really need to sort it out right away. So I've just been keeping it in the bags. Like I literally, with the friend sets, I ripped open all the boxes, scanned all the QR codes, threw the instructions away, threw all the sticker sheets in my sticker sheet uh, bin. Um, and then I sorted out all the numbered bags. So I have like two boxes with nothing but bag ones or bag twos, etc. And every time someone gets an order, that's... Because the thing is, it's been bulk quantity, which is what I've been hoping for. So it's just like, oh, okay, you want all of this type of piece? Okay, rips open every bag four to grab all the quantity of that one piece. And, like, I've gotten rid of, like, two boxes just using that method. Well, when I say two boxes, I mean, like, from when I had it sorted of just being bags... It's a very lazy yet effective method at the moment. Oh yeah, well you still are all over it. <laughs> you still you got some pieces that you've ordered that are from it. There's actually I'm I'm really hoping someone comes along and buys the uh, door frames that are in like a I want to say magenta that doesn't sound right. Dark purple sounds right. Hoping someone comes along and buys up those soon. I'm kind of sick of looking at them. Yeah, once uh, once the boxes have been whittled down enough, I will merge it in with the store officially. But it's just for now, why bother starting to merge everything when it's just easy come, easy go at the moment? It's just making li my life easier to do it this way. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oh, I did that wrong, okay. They're in a vault. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a set that has this piece. I know it's commonly in planes and all that, but my first time getting it. It's a very chunky piece. Which is like a $5 piece, no problem. Ugh, the stickers. Ugh, I don't like it. That is not going to work. How in the... This sticker is not as big as the damn pictures making it seem. And you know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to do it like this and... Yep. That's how I'm going to do it. Yep, that's how I'm going to do it. I don't care. I care what anyone says. That's how I'm placing that sticker. Yeah, it's starting to form up real nice now. Well, it's such a big sticker. Uh, I was fine doing it with my fingers. That wasn't what I was worried about. It was like the picture literally made it seem like the sticker was bigger than it actually was. Like the sticker made it look like it would fill up this white gap here. And I'm like, what? That's confusing me. So I just decided on uh, 
putting it along the line there and then just leaving the white gap because either way there's going to be a white gap and I think the way I've done it makes the gap look a lot better, more natural than if I did it the way the instructions were telling me to do it. So that's just the way it is. Lego, if the instruction police want to come find me, they know how to get a hold of me. Stickers haven't been atrocious. Like, I've been able to manage them just fine. It's just the placement and how the instructions say to place them is what is being weird. Oh, yeah. David, I need to go digging through our DMs and find that... Um, what you might call it that little wooden slot thing for your bubble mailers that you sent me i need to find that link again because with how many orders i'm getting i'm taking too many to the post office so i'm like hey can you check and it ends up being just a little bit off so i need to go and order that just finally get over with because before i was like oh i don't need to worry about it i'm only getting a few months every a few orders every month now it's like okay, I, I'm at, I I seriously wouldn't be surprised if when I do the math uh, tonight, and I find out that I've had over a hundred orders this month, I would not be surprised. So, with that in mind, I I need to have a effect, effect, more effective way of going about it because I can't just keep going to the post office and be like, does it fit through? I knew the weight's fine, and it being like just a smidge too bulky. I need to go and find that link again. It is my chore for after this stream. A slot of doom. I like that. I need, yeah, I need the slot of doom in my life at home. Okay, this looks nice. But again, the, the, the scaling. The scaling is, is what's not doing it for me, you know? Plastic would be preferred, yes, because wooden, I feel like I would break somehow. Plastic, I could easily just, like, put somewhere over here. I will look into it, Dion. I have not heard of it. Oh no. Well, that's not good unless... Shit. There we go. Oh, cool. The buggy can fit inside the bus. Good. How does that look? Not bad. Well, I would argue it looked better if you put it in backwards. Because the logo kind of goes through the see-through computer screen. So, yeah, that looks slightly better. Come on, there you go. All good, Eileen. Enjoy the rest of your Easter. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Catch you in the next one. Bag four.
I also probably got to look at Costco's website again. Because the regular bubble mailers I use, I haven't really touched lately. Because I've been getting a lot of uh, over 100 piece orders and they don't necessarily fit them. So I've been using up my reserve medium bubble mailers really quick. So I might need to restock on them sooner rather than later. So I have to look up if uh, Costco has a bulk box of them that I can just get my hands on for like 80 bucks. Something like that. Oh, the joys of owning a Lego business of sorts. What sticker is this? Number 22. Sweet. I'll actually order that right now then. Why well, you weren't kidding? I can choose a color. I'm getting it in blue. Small business in Canada. Get it by the 19th of April. No, wait, hold on. Am I being stupid? Oh, the 3rd to the 19th of April, right? That's what that means. Free delivery. I mean, if it's free delivery, sure, add to cart. I will pay $7, no problem. Here, hold on. I want to build a little bit more before we place this. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting that out of the way. It's going to be 3D printed, but hey. Seven bucks. I, I literally made that today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, letter mail. That's what I'm expecting, too. The funny thing is I can pay with PayPal, so I don't have to worry about taking it from my bank account. Unlike another order I placed yesterday, I thought I could pay with PayPal. Stupidly just said, oh, said okay with the filled in de uh, details. And then realized when I checked my bank account, it was like over $100 less. And I'm like, oh, okay. Whoopsie. school bus portion okay yeah that uh, i was gonna say that it does look like what we're doing now i have to do this times two good thing i caught that because if i flipped the page and found out i had to flip it back i would not have been impressed Okay, we'll do this one more time, and then we'll order that. We'll order that little slot of doom. One by four. Do, 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 do.
Okay, and we do the windows, and we order that thing, and then we be on our way. Ah. Two more windows to go. Come on. Alright, let's order it. Where's the link? I see. Blue. Continue to review. Submit. Cool. Thanks, David. I'm going to take a quick second to actually grab a snack because, since we're stopped what we're doing. So I will be right back. Guess who's back? And brought iced tea. I should have gotten a confirmation email for that. But it might have sent to my other one because it's hooked up to my PayPal. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Glad that's over with. Any Lego leaks? Nope. Alrighty, let's get back to building. <clears throat> 
Oh no. So yeah, next big expense I have to worry about before Chicago is a quick trip down to my work area ish because the Calgary Comic Expo is happening. And uh, I've already ordered a set and it's arrived. I want to get a Lego set signed by a particular someone. That's all I want. I just want to go there, get a set signed, look around, maybe spend a few bucks, and then come home. That's all I want. But I haven't bought my tickets yet because I I'm like so on the fence on if they're going to pull a fast one and be like, oh, actually, the guy, he's canceled. He's got some other commitments. And I'm like, I'm going to be so mad. Because if I've just bought the set and I haven't bought the tickets, okay, fine. I could resell the set and be fine with it. But I bought the set with this with the intent to have it signed. Because I guess I'm starting a signed Lego set collection now at this rate. I only have two. I don't, no, I only have one signed Lego set, but I wouldn't mind having two. And if I have two, then I might as well get three. If I have three, well, then what's stopping me from getting up to I don't know a hundred? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. That's what like I know dang well nowadays that if I'm wanting something specific, I could just get it online. But, again, with conventions, it's more or less about meeting the people and finding that one thing that is kind of rare and saving yourself on shipping costs. That would be the only other excuse. But, yeah, you're right. Spend money to spend money. That's exactly what conventions are. But I would not mind meeting this one guy and having him sign a Lego set. I, I'm actually... That'd be a question for him if I was able to ask a question is... Does he collect Lego? I don't think he does. I think he's... I, when I watched a documentary about him, he said that he does, like, bugs or whatever. I think. I might be outdated on my memory on that. Oh, shoot. I am way ahead. Hold on. Don't they change staff every year? What what happens? <laughs> if I may ask. I don't recall much of the last time I went to the Comic Expo, other than just like I bought a fives action figure and maybe like another thing or two. But I was mainly going just to hang out with my friend who won't asked me if I wanted to come along because they didn't want to go alone. It was like the only reason I went. It's like, yeah, not working. Sure, what the hell. Next stop, Snooze Street. I like that. That's a fun little detail. Huh, I wondered. Fair enough. Sounds like me at my workplace. Keep butting heads with certain co-workers. Can't get along with everyone in life, unfortunately. Just is what it is. very interested to see how this mechanism is going to work because this is obviously going to be like a swinging motion i think unless i'm wrong i might be wrong don't spoil anything dion 
I'll figure it out. Am I missing something important here? Why is that so low? Oh, that's why. I didn't do this to that. <laughs> I know, dude. I'm just... <laughs> you know what I'm on about. You're here to... S I, I know, you've been in... You mentioned before that you were interested to see how my thoughts were with this set, and you're just... You're getting your usual live reaction. That's an interesting design choice. You put windows only for it to be covered up. Blast shields, maybe? I have no idea. That is a weird design choice. Okay, why is it saying there's regular Technic pins? What am I missing here? I bet I'm hoping there's another page, because I don't think I've messed up anything. Right, that piece. Attach this. On either end. Yes. No, I forgot. I need to do the the grills. There we go. Okay, and then you're telling me I have Technic pins. Okay, good. I have to attach them. Okay. I might be stupid. Ah, okay. Right, I'm doing this right. I think I am. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why why cover them up? That makes no sense. Like, again, it's like, okay, maybe it's blast shields, but it's like, no. I wouldn't mind seeing the minifigs. Maybe up the piece count. Yeah, that... That's dumb. When we're done building this, I'll see how they look. Because it's not that hard to remove it. But I... That is weird. That is a weird design choice. 
Bag five. I put little builds on it, yeah. Alright, where's the Vincent Tong minifigure? That's just how I remember him. Logan, that's his name. The character's name is Logan. I remember my issue being, why didn't they print on the torso? But I think they fixed that in recent Dream sets. I think, I could be wrong. Let's see. What is a new set that has Logan? Oh, they just made him a minifigure. Like a regular size minifig. And I'm like... Okay. Yeah, they just they just made him a regular size minifigure in the Sandman Tower. Which does yet doesn't make sense. Because like... It's not to scale. Yeah. Because like in the show, it, it, it doesn't even look like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is based on a season that hasn't come out yet, right? So, okay, maybe I should keep quiet for a second. Maybe they might change it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying what I'm saying. Okay, fine. Put this down. Now what? What do you want me to do? What, what am I doing? Here? Oh, fill in the gaps. Why didn't you get me to do this to begin with? That's dumb. Tile. You got tiles. Oh, that's what you mean by little builds. Okay, that's what the hell. One, two, three, four, five. Weapon storage, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that's always what i'm if, I, if a set is based off the show there should be at least some amount of stroke accuracy than just the bare amount of like it's a blue character well the blue character has details now the new wave of sets is i think based on a season that hasn't released yet because logan has like his blue look, but he's a full-size minifig, so I'm like, that doesn't make sense. I don't know why I'm beating the dead horse. The horse is just fun to beat, okay? Maybe the blood gushing out that looks cool, I don't know. Either way, we're beating it up. That was a bit too graphic, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I need another one of those. Can you, like, hand her over? Or, what I could do is I could just keep building. And then find the piece, naturally. Right? That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, right.
I need a clip, a one by one clip, and I. How much do you want to bet I did something stupid? I knew I was being stupid the whole time. Ugh. Literally looked at the picture and it never clicked in my head. Okay, we need a music change. This is just getting repetitive. Okay. If y'all are enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. Just a friendly reminder. All good, Dion. All good. We're going to be here for a while anyways. We're just chilling. Dark bluish gray. Dark bluish gray. Make another black one. Yep. Yeah, if they release another Ninjago modular tonight, I will be obtaining another Spaceman plushie. That much I can promise. Because that's my new thing, is if there's a plushie I want and I have to do an online order, I'm going to throw it in my order no matter what. Actually, after that Etsy order, what is my PayPal like? Because I know until Friday, I'm a little hurting. I'm not that hurting. I'll be fine. Brick Link to the rescue! <laughs> it's good, man. You know, you know the anticipation of waiting for someone to pay for their order. Well, for me, right now, my anticipation is just waiting for them to reply about how they'd like to pay for their order in terms of shipping. Imagine parting this set out, there'd be an annoying amount of white in here. Um, flipped around. What is this, another wing? This thing doesn't have more wings to it, was it? Oh, it's for the side. Okay, never mind. I spoiled myself a little. Whoopsie. Stud shoot. Oh, they're going to give me all the studs at the end, aren't they? <laughs> I would not be surprised if I ever got to become a big enough channel. There would be like a fan channel dedicated to me out of context sayings. <laughs> I would not doubt it. I say some pretty wacky stuff out of context. <laughs> well, hey, I'm part of that, aren't I? 
you could argue, but also not. I don't know. <sighs> That's funny. A sticker. That's illegal. 17. Okay, since it's a tile, a 2x4 tile, it doesn't matter how I put it on because I could just flip it. I don't know why they don't do translucent clear stickers as much. It would be much it would solve a lot of their problems of discoloration of the build. Another sticker, number 20, also on a 2x4. Yeah, that will be my chore for the day is I have to finish packing up that other order and then I have to pack up the one that was paid for today. How big is that order? Oh, it's only like a... 54 piece order in theory it's easy in theory or is uh, the actual location of the parts might actually differ what does this say sleep okay i'm starting to feel like there's almost a little too many dream references here not the youtuber before anyone gets confused That looks nice. That is filled in. this song anymore here we go anybody here been watching the invincible show on amazon prime I'm watching that ever since the second half came out I've been enjoying that show so much. The Boys and Invincible on Amazon Prime. Favorite superhero shows at the moment. My brain read those words in the wrong order and understood it completely wrong. <laughs> but I'm glad I took another reread. But yeah, how the heck does one even crack their luggage? Right, okay, this is under the premise that I have a leather, not leather, a fabric one. And people traditionally use plastic ones. That's where I'm getting confused. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? What is that profile picture? Do I even want to enlarge on it? Wait a minute. Have you been trying to message me? You did over an hour ago. Oopsie. What is that profile picture? <laughs> <sighs> I haven't built Lego in so long. Uh, 
How does one fix a plastic suitcase from being cracked? This is the information we need to know. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, that, that definitely would do it. Is it a baseball? What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. This on the other side. I got four more bags. Plastic filler. Okay. Pretty handy. Okay, that's all pressed down. Bag six. Okay, that's a... Come on. Really? That's a tiny bag. Teeny tiny. We'll fly through this bag, no problem. <laughs> that... Well, don't those things cost like a few hundred bucks? Like, yeah, I, I would, I don't blame you for trying to salvage it in any way you can. Okay, can I continue without having? Oh, there's only one, one of that. What the heck am I doing? Also, I just realized there's no progress bar on these instructions. Hey, Lego Team B, how's it going? Hope your day's going all right. We've been uh, the past hour or so chugging along with this my first ever Lego Dreams set. It's been sitting in my backlog a little too long now. Okay, sticker number nine. It's a little control panel. I agree. For the most part, all things considered, I've enjoyed this build. I have a few nitpicks, but that's to be expected, I guess, for with me, at least. <laughs> I can be very nitpicky. But yeah, well, starting out with the minifigures, I was blown away by the minifigs. I literally had to go research again how much I paid for this set because this has been sitting in my backlog for quite a while. <laughs> but I was like, for 120 Canadian... The figures definitely make it appetizing to look at. Sticker number 23. Yeah, I guess we're just kind of filling the void. A little... Until uh, new Lego sets release tonight. And what... Five and a half hours, give or take. I know I got my cart ready for whatever gift with purchases may be. Actually, we discussed at the beginning what the rumored gift with purchases are. I don't know if I'm ready to drop $200 for a flower promo. But we'll see. We'll see what I can figure out. Actually, speaking of, what is everyone planning on possibly getting tonight, if you are getting anything? That's a question we could ask. Flip it around. Yeah, there we go.
I'm personally crossing my fingers. We're getting another Ninjago modular. I'm also, like, it's interesting. They have the... Actually, I should check that right now. They have the current one. If you've already redeemed it, they have it on countdown for when you can redeem it again. Now, I have conflicting memories on the last time they did something like that. It didn't actually refresh. It actually just uh, made it so that the, it was taken off of the reward site. But I'm like, hey, if it's available again, I will do what I can to get another one. Because I wouldn't mind having a sealed copy. But anywho, I digress. Um, it'd be cool if they have uh, the next one available. Let's actually see. Actually, real quick. It's already... Oh, wow. Australia. Oh, hello from us. Hello from Canada, then. Yeah. It all come boils down to gift with purchases, in my opinion. Makes it more worthwhile for what you're getting. I mean, yeah, you can always get the VIP points. But, yeah. I know I'd like to get Star Wars, but... Man, there's just nothing... Star Warsy that I need to get right away. Everything can wait until May. And the more I have for options for May, the better, I guess. Everyone over here enjoying their battle packs, and I'm over here just patiently biding my time. Oh, wait, upside down. Okay. Look, I don't think we've uh, seen you on the channel on the chat before, Team B. If I, if so, I apologize. I'm. It's been a while since I've done the whole YouTube thing in the past month or so. But uh, what what kind of themes are you into? Just for curiosity's sake. Myself, I'm more into Star Wars, Ninjago, a little bit of Marvel, just superhero stuff in general is my jam. And I do like my minifigures. The blind figures. Science fiction, I guess. So yeah, VIP Reward Center says... Five hours until I can purchase another, which I, I'm fine with. If that ends up being the case where I can purchase another one of those mini modulars, I will because why not? A sealed copy and a one to build, why not? I'm floating in VIP points anyway. But yeah, it's a great way of, if they do go through with that, a great way of being like making sure anyone who wants more than one copy can get one cop more than one copy but also everyone gets not like a whole month to get their hands on at least one copy at least nice yeah the name did sound familiar and i'm pretty sure it was via instagram is what my memory is telling me but yeah no the name does seem familiar so yeah it's I'm glad you're here Probably know how I roll then. Just I just build my stuff, I talk my talk, and I just I do whatever Lego related stuff I can. As for community related stuff, oh there's only so much life you can juggle, I guess. <laughs> but that's good, that's good. Always good to see a fellow Ninjago fan. So you probably get my excitement for the uh, mini modulars then. Okay, let's get this big old sticker out of the way. I've been dreading ever since I saw that it was a sticker. Okay, actually, here's how I'm going to do it. Boom, easy peasy. Oh, yeah, there's one coming in the summer. See, I'm going to have to do what I did last year, which is just wait until I come back from Chicago before I can even buy it. 
because I can't imagine buying that in Chicago and then taking it back on the plane. Like that that would just be a very non-gamer move, pro gamer move. Unless it's double points, then that might be tempting. But at that point, I'll just order online. <laughs> Okay, I have a funny feeling that I might have missed a step or two, but I'm not quite sure, but we'll wait and see. Oh, really? You're going to Brickworld 2? Nice! Yeah, for sure. This goes for anyone. If you see me at Chicago or in general, it's ever, you see me, come say hi. You know, I may look big and scary, but I'm pretty chill. Yeah, the taxes are better in Alberta. Yeah, 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 that's true. You got a point there, David. Okay, and that just kind of snaps in place. Nice. Wow, okay. Cool. Flip it over. That there. Sixteen. Nice. I don't know if I'll be buying as much this year. I'll be definitely trying to focus more on sightseeing. I know I keep exaggerating that, but like. I, I literally am at a point now where I've almost got most of the retired stuff on my wish list and I could get it whenever I want. I'm just kind of just, you know, I'm not in a hurry to buy everything retired. Like, yeah, I get everything goes up in value, but it's just, I get everything eventually. That is a very nice feature. That looks so clean. Sorry, I, I'm very all over the place. Ooh, did I mention how much the artwork is cool here? Holy moly. I know I mentioned this, but I, I just can't stop mentioning it. This is so cool. Nice. All right, bag seven. That is... Don't tell me that bag seven is literally just, <laughs> just the figs. Are you for real, Lego? Don't tell me that this is just the figs. Go see the bean. I think you've told me about this before, but I'm having a blank. Like, it's, it's vaguely familiar, but I'm not... Ugh. This is exactly what this bag is. It is literally just the figures. You call this a numbered bag? I've seen numbered bags stupider than this. What do you mean, Lego? Okay. So, at least all pretty much the same facial print. Okay, cool. Cloud gate, okay. A little pirate hat. A musket and a sword. I know it makes sense in the show for him to have this, but this figure is going to look goofy carrying these weapons. This looks goofy. I'm sorry. This, this looks too goofy. The weapons in his hands. <laughs> to me, that looks just weird.
props to them for making it compatible. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Nope, stop it. Stop rolling away. I don't know why, but I'm getting some Nexo Knight vibes from these little guys. Maybe it was like the little lava monster creatures that it's reminding me of. Would one meet that fig in a dark alley? Yeah, you'd have some trouble seeing it, honestly. But yeah, no, no, no it's a little scary. Oh wait, I was supposed to put horns on this. That's a bit of a loose connection, but whatever. A spear. So you have to be careful with spear pieces because they snap so easily if you're messing around with it carelessly. Round one arcade. Noted. Yeah, literally in the Discord, I'm just going to create a thing where you guys can just give me suggestions so that I can look at it. That way I won't forget and I have an easy reference. Okay, these little guys have quite the charm to them in terms of, like, their little looks. Like, Lego could have just made them generic goons, but no, they're actually out here trying to make them kind of cool. <laughs> little Inspector Gadget action going on over here. Even a little space one. <sighs> Do I have that on all the way? Yeah. My fingers are getting sore from having to push on these little pieces. Huh. Decide your own destiny is what I'm being told. With this next page. Hmm. I'll build it normally because I don't need to worry about fancy schmancy stuff just yet. It's not going to tell me to only use certain bags, right? Like that that's no way, right? Right? I hope. This sword is so oversized. <coughs> okay. Alrighty. Throw all this in here. Check and see. Nope, nobody has replied to that. Okay, so page 126. Yes, it is. Flip the page. Huh. Oh, there's literally color coded stuff. Okay, weird, weird, weird. That is weird. My new conspiracy theory is they cut costs on the production for instructions so that they can make dreams so high quality. This is my conspiracy theory and I'm sticking with it for now. Hey, Marco, happy Easter, indeed. Hope your day is going pretty well. We're just almost done this set. It's quite a nice build. There we go. 
What are we building? A satellite? Where's the satellite gonna go? That's good, that's good. Yeah, we're back with our usual shenanigans after almost a month hiatus of live streaming. Hopefully, hopefully we're going to get back on the grind here. I know I keep saying that, but I mean that this time. Work's going to not get as busy, and it's just going to be Bricklink I have to worry about for the most part. Sound like a broken record for Eldos who have been here for since the beginning. Appreciate y'all. Okay, there's that. Oh, you... Oh yeah. Ugh, I hate how much it's affected the channel in terms of like consistency, but something has to be prioritized. And in, th in this month's instance, Bricklink and the job one. But we'll make up for it next month, hopefully. Hopefully is the keyword we're looking for here. Okay, we're supposed to sticker this with sticker number 15. I am not. I'm there just as an attendee kind of thing. I don't do mocks, unfortunately. Wait, exhibiting. Wait. My brain's being dumb right now. To be fair, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it right in my head. Why the heck am I doubting myself? No, I'm not displaying anything. I don't do mocks. I just collect and I observe. I haven't touched mocking yet. Well, I have. I built a tower once. <laughs> Deep cut reference. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be pretty cool to meet him. I know, uh, what's his name? I know if I see his channel name, I will recognize it. I want to say Diego, but that doesn't sound right. Hold on, hold on. I'll go through my subscriptions. He uploads fairly often, right? I said it'd be cool to meet him. Tiago, not Diego. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing. I'm assuming some of y'all know who I'm talking about when I say Tiago. He's a former Lego designer turned reviewer. With the Ninjroid base. That is a concept that we are totally actively working on. I'm going to start turning into Jason Bloom here with like talking about like behind the scenes channel things. It's going to be like, we're dangerously close to some news here. It's very active. We're dangerously close. <laughs> How close are we to getting a new vlog? We're dangerously close to getting some news about that. Dangerously close. <laughs> oh, what an annoying time to be a FNAF fan and just anticipating for anything. Yeah, the Ninjroid Army is still one of the coolest things I have done, I feel. Because just, I, even to this day, no one's really tried to top it. And I was kind of hoping someone would, but no one has. And I'm like, hey, if you can top me on it, go for it. You have the numbers that I posted publicly, go for it. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Nice. But yeah. I, I've done the numbers on another army concept I want to do. I just, yeah, I don't think it'll do well. I'd be better off buying the figs straight up. Because uh, LEGO literally released another Ninjago battle pack. They called it a battle pack. 
but it's not really a battle pack in the way that we're used to from Star Wars. But yeah, we're dangerously close to getting some conclusion with the vlog lore. <laughs> Hard to believe we're almost done this build. I mean, it looks almost it, lo it looks done as is, but I mean, there's so many more pieces left to go. Doesn't feel like it. I'm like so lost. I have no idea what we could be possibly building now. I'm just building what the instructions tell me to build. Brick World is going to be so fun. Which version did I choose? I, I just kept carrying on. I, I chose the first version. The blue instructions. Not the green section. I know the green section has like a uh, cannon on the top. I just want what's shown on the box for the time being. Knowing me, I'm probably not going to touch being able to review this for a while. As, as sad as that is. I need to prioritize other reviews if I'm going to start getting back into doing reviewing on a regular basis. Hopefully, though. Things will catch up quick. For those who are going to Brick World, have you guys tried giving away stickers before? And if so, how did that go? Like, how much of a process was it to do? I mean, didn't ask, uh, I think it was Brickhive who did stickers last year. I want to ask him how that went for him. Because I think instead of doing like sig figs, because I know people love sig figs. I, I just, I don't think I could do that this year. So I'm thinking maybe stickers of my logo or something. We'll see. Okay, what way am I putting this? Oh. That. That's true. Stickers are expensive. But it, I'm looking from the sense of how easy it would be to do. Because figures, I have to go to multiple Bricklink stores and such just to get the parts I need. So it's just like stickers would be less hassle, I feel. And then, of course, I, I need the logo, right? You know, get that all figured out. Below stickers, yeah. That's true. No, I can actually ask Mark. Mark gave me a sticker. I don't know what I did with the sticker. It's probably hiding in a drawer. But I can ask Mark. I think he's done stickers before. I know what we're doing now. We're doing some cannons. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're already in April and we're two months away. Yeah, I need to A, hurry up and get the dang snap conclusion. So, Team B, I don't know if you watch vlogs or not, but my profile picture was something older, was something different. Probably what was seen, I think, in the thumbnail of this stream. You can see it in the corner there. It was just like, a, a, what the, the, the story was for that was it was my profile picture that I changed to when COVID hit and I rebooted the channel. It was a high school project I did, which was we stood and did some like lighting effects or whatever. I don't remember, but just, yeah, it was me holding purple lightning. But it was a pretty dark picture and I've had m multiple people ask me, it, uh, what is that pi picture even of? And I'm like, that's me in a hoodie. Like, oh, cool. <laughs> so anyway, you had a whole event uh i want i want to, was it a month ago i'm gonna feel so bad if it's a month ago now yeah about a month over a month ago we had a live event of sorts where um because in my vlogs uh we do end credit scenes normally to tease my next purchase you know taking inspiration from the mcu whatever fun little skit but i took it in a different turn where it's a skit that affects the channel something new something different just to have some fun with it uh and we we uh my friend jordan he kind of snapped my profile picture back to what it was pre-covid so that's what we're at we're, we're in a bit of a flashback moment at the moment uh so i've been trying to do retro set reviews with a remade channel intro based on the old one i made in 2016 and then hopefully with the next vlog or something whatever i figure out i'm gonna do we're gonna have a conclusion to that and i need to have that done before brook world that is a must for me <laughs> if i can't get it done uh, there's something wrong with me okay speak what the heck huh why, why do I have two parts left over? That's not good. That's not good. I lost my train of thought. And now I'm like, what? What are we doing? Okay, I will continue with this. And we'll finish that. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't take too kindly to that kind of talk. Oh well, at least you still have the one account. Okay. I need to figure out where I went wrong. So two there, yeah, okay. Where? Two there, so where else could it have gone? I refuse to believe that. I refuse. Also, what the heck? Did I do this in reverse? I did. Yeah, for sure, Dion. Uh, E-transfer worked better because then I could just get it transferred out when I get my U.S. cash. Oh. 
he final tear it apart just to get at the pins? Actually, hold on. The solution is much simpler than intended. I have these two pieces in front of me. And, um... I want to say they're extras, but I don't believe they are. Sounds good. Yeah, Brickworld's coming up quick. I need to literally get everything back on track and figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, this does not make sense to me. There's no way that they're extras, right? I'll literally go back to the beginning of the bag. There is no way these are extras. I refuse to believe that. So, let's see. We're looking for these two. Okay, that's that. Two on there, which we did. And then I tell you to attach it. There is no freaking way. I refuse. I refuse to believe that that's what's going on here, that this is a genuine extra. Yeah, okay, so that's four. Literally, I... Oh, jeez. So, my phone ran out of storage. So, I guess while we're figuring out this mess, I might as well upload the footage so that we can continue building. That's the next step. Buy a camera specifically for speed build footage. Yeah, and then it just tells me to go to the next bag. So, maybe these are genuine extras? I got it in this bag. This doesn't feel right, you know? Let's see. Um, Bricklink. I wonder. I has a theory. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So, these pieces are extras, but they're not. So, they're extras in the sense of if you're going down this path that I am. If you're going down this path that I have gone down, they're extras. 
However, if you go with the alternate build, as I looked in the instructions, they are used. So this is just like a creator set. It has loose pieces. Uh, I can't tell you how much I don't like creator for that reason alone. That's frustrating. Let me get another baggie so that way I can separate it in my head. So that way I can be like, why is it in separate baggies? Oh yeah, that's why. Because like when I finish reviewing this, I will throw all the extras in my store, but I don't want to if the set technically needs the pieces. So while the footage is uploading my laptop, I'll grab a baggie. We can mess around with. Brilliant, I tell you. Just brilliant. Anyway, look at this cool transformer I got. <laughs> I was, what? I feel so lost right now. Hint, hint, okay. I like this guy. This guy's cool. 50 bucks for this figure, by the way, off Amazon. King of the Hill. Oh, okay. I don't watch that show, so obviously. I forget, was it? Okay. Do that. I'm just chilling, waiting. Waiting for the footage to finish uploading. Don't mind me fidgeting. I know my iPhone storage is full. I'm working on an iPhone. Thank you for telling me. Almost done, though. <clears throat> there was a moment where I was debating getting a Masterpiece Transformer. I looked at the price tag and I was like, mm, maybe later. Brickworld's coming up. Masterpiece figures are the equivalent to UCS sets, so 
That alone should tell you how much the, they're worth. Come on, upload. It's taking too long. What's everyone been building lately, actually? Like, I know we're building dreams today, but what's the most recent set you guys have built? That's the curiosity question of the day. Mike Judge. That sounds like another character you're talking about. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a picture of them saying I can earn more of this reward. Because if it turns out they take it off of their site when it refreshes, I'm going to call customer service and be like, hey, Here's a picture saying I could buy more. Monkey Kid Flower. Oh, that sounds familiar. What is that? Let's see. Flower Fruits. That's totally going to bring it up. Ooh, is there a tired set? Oh, right. That's kind of cool. I debated that one, but I was like, how the heck would I even display that? That takes up so much space for only 2,000 pieces. I just, I like Monkey Kid, but I only collect the odd set here or there. I just, I couldn't justify it. Yeah, looking at these images here, they're really cool. Oh, literally picture showing I could split it up, but I stand by what I said. Yeah, it's a beautiful set. For anyone wondering, uh, 80024 is the set number in question. Okay, footage is done uploading. We'll just make a little folder for it. Be on our way. Space bus. Okay. I know my storage is full. I'm trying to work on it. Settings, general, storage, 14 gigabytes, yikes. Okay, we should be good now. Who wants to finish this build? I do! Let's do it. Bag nine, final bag. Whoa, these are big, chunky parts. Cool. I've never seen these blast effects in person. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, they're going to give me all the studs at the end. 
is going to be one of those sets I got to be careful not to trip the studs on. It didn't say to do this times two, did it? No. Yeah, they're they're really cool. Stickers, I forgot those were a thing. Oh, jeez, okay. Let's make sure we're doing this right. Oh, my many years of Lego sticker placement has made me used to how to do these. Okay, so you're telling me to put this here, but there's... Never mind. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. Don't mind me. My one buddy has been trying to get me to watch this show called Trailer Park Boys. Have not had the time to even look into what it is. Oh, I'm stupid. Hold on, put that back. I don't know, chat. Anyone heard of that show? Worth it? Yay or nay? Okay, is there nothing that can be put in here, or is it just... I guess so. Is this something that can, like, hold them? Because it'd be pretty cool if you can, like toss one of these gremlin things in here and that's what powers the ship that's where my mind goes to okay well if everyone's telling me it's a good show maybe i should watch it maybe after my binge of clone wars Thank goodness it's almost supper time. I'm starting to get that lightheaded sensation. Doctor Who, I've heard, is okay. I wouldn't know where to begin, though, because they've been going on for so long. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. One, two, place. Gives energy burst. This. Honestly, surprised they're not telling me to do it times two, but I bet you it's going to be a mirrored effect. I bet you, I bet you.
Okay, cool. Oh, wow. That added some weight to the build. I still have a Doctor Who Lego set I need to get around to reviewing. Maybe this week I'll get on it. Hmm. Noted, noted. Inside the TARDIS. Huh. Sixty. Right, does it, it can like disconnect and everything, right? theme on nice well both of you benefited that day side I really hope that's not it sealed that's a good deal So I guess we're adding studs everywhere. Holy moly, I, I'm now realizing how many stud shooters there are on this build.
think there's a sticker I missed. There's some pieces here I'm not so sure about. Thinking it might be the same situation where it's for the alternate build. Oh yeah. I think that's all the stud shooters. All those extra studs. Okay, I don't believe that. I like I, I'm missing a sticker placement somewhere. So while this is technically done, it's not at the same time. See you later, David. Radar dish is cool. Fuck. I was throwing everything in the extras bag when the reality is I these parts should go in a separate one. Fixed it. I think I know where the sticker goes. I have a hunch. But we will backtrack. Speed build footage is done. We're just figuring out where this sticker goes. Actually, no. We'll go to the section I think it goes. Yep, that's exactly where it goes. The build is good. I don't like how there it's like crater and there's leftover pieces, because that's confusing. I'm almost tempted to try and see what how many pieces are left over from the other alternate build, if any. This build looks better at the moment. But, yeah, hold on. Let me have a second here. Or I can have a good look at things. Monkey on board. I like that. Figures are great. I like the figures. I don't know if I like that it doesn't necessarily tell you how to display the figures, though. Which is kind of the norm with this. Okay. Right, we were going to see, because, like, that's easy to remove. There's also, yeah, this is obviously weapon storage. Yeah. That's so obviously weapon storage. Okay, that goes out of the way, it's in my way. So, the fact that it's weapon storage is the only good thing I can say about it at the moment. But it would look better, yes, without the windows. Can we actually test that theory real quick? I'll just do one side. 
Uh, it's kind of dark, but let's put a minifigure in there. Uh, that's what I forgot to do. The scaling of the build definitely affects everything overall. Okay, um... You can hardly see the minifigure. You can, like, make out their hair. But just... Oh, you can't see, but just... You, the windows only go to, like, the top of their hair. So... It is kind of pointless to want... Like, I, I, I agree and I get wanting it. Yeah, okay. You make some points there, Dion. You make some points. Thanks for that. I'll hear you out. Let's try this again. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you can just see the top of the hair. So, if it was, like, one stud shorter, maybe it'd be worth having the windows. But I'm almost of the mindset of, why call it a space bus? Just make it a spaceship. I'm trying to make it school-related. It, it is cool in concept, but it's kind of pointless when you think about it. So yeah, I guess with the way that it's built, yeah, fine, leave it like that, but, eh, you know? stuff here oh my god yeah no landing gear for 120 canadian uh, i don't know the figs alone i want to say sure but comfortably i would have paid 80 for this there are chunky pieces yes but I would have been really okay paying 80 bucks for this overall. <clears throat> this this feels like an $80 set. Z-Blob to just kind of flail about at the back here. Yeah, that, that's my analysis. That's my thoughts. In a nutshell, I guess. Having this built. Okay, that that's funny. Z Blob's a little bit falling behind. <laughs> yeah, th this first mode is cool. I don't know if I'll right away try the alternate, but I wanted something that looked like the box, so. I like it. I don't know if I agree with the price, though, of 120 Canadian. Like, 80 feels like a more comfortable price for this. Like, I know the pieces are there, but it's just... Oof. Like, there's quite literally, like, six different pieces you're not using if you go with the... The figures are nice, but... Realistically, I only, only need two of these figures. The rest seem like overkill. 
some padding for this, which... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I package it separately. It's for the alternate build, but, like, you're not using it. Like, for me, I'm going to keep it displayed like this, so I'm not going to be using these pieces. They're just sitting there. The figures are cool, but... Am I really trying to army build these little nightmare things? They're tiny. They're... They're cool, but they're not that cool, you know? Oh, and another thing. You're also paying for the extra stickers, which is what they did with the Ninjago arcade theme. Those sets were inflated and went on sale because, you know, the builds were okay. But, I don't know. I don't know the point I'm making here, but just... Why the extra stickers? Like, yeah, you could customize your space bus, but... I'm not going to be. There's just, it's so bloated more than what it needs to be just to try and fit that price point. That's how that this feels. It's a great set, but when you take the price into account, it's like there's a lot of things the budget went into that really didn't need to for that extra $40. Instructions are a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong, I love the printing of the instructions. Is it necessary? By today's standards, no. Are the extra stickers necessary? No. The way uh, way of just taking it apart and rebuilding it, it's cool, but it's not really seen in a set like this in the show. So this alone is fine as is. If figures are bloated in terms of the quantity you're getting of these little guys. And then just like the extras thing alone. Like, a lot of those are studs. It's very bloated. That is the best way I can describe this set is it's very bloated. I'm fine, because I, I got it for triple VIP. But for the average consumer, I... I can see why it's on sale. Yeah. This should be an interesting one to review when I do get around to reviewing it, but it's just... Eighty dollars. $80 is what I would price this at. It's just too small for what it's trying to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'll leave it for now until I put out an official review of my own. Those are my thoughts. I love the hero figures. Just, yeah. Anywho. Yeah. <laughs> anywho um, hopefully, emphasis on hopefully, we will be back doing another live stream next Sunday. Again, uh, things are a little still up in the air, so we will have to wait and see how life progresses. I will still try my best to keep up to date with the reviews. I'll try and get one filmed and maybe edited to have out for Tuesday, Friday at the latest. But things are going to be improving next week for sure. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with us throughout this whole three hours, my goodness. I hope it was an enjoyable experience as much as it was for me. I hope everyone has a great rest of their Easter or just Sunday in general. I'm going to go get some food. My body's demanding it. <sighs> like and subscribe. I will catch you all later. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.